Hey folks, Joseph A. Savora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's called Now You See Me, and it stars Jesse Eisenberg from Zombieland, Mark Ruffalo, Woody Harrelson, also from Zombieland and many other films, Eli Fisher from Definitely Maybe, Dave Franco from the TV show Greek, Naomi Lauren from the movie Inglorious Bastards, Common with Morgan Freeman and Michael Caine, and it's directed by Louis Lederer, who directed the movie Unleash and The Incredible Hulk. The movie begins when four magicians, all played by Jesse Eisenberg, Woody Harrelson, Eli Fisher, and Dave Franco, had received a mysterious card that summons to an obscure address with plenty of secrets inside. A year later, they are known simply as the Four Horsemen, which turn out to be one of the biggest stage illusionists who climb out out of their sold out Las Vegas show. And their attempt was to rob a bank, for real. But this test puts agents Dylan Rhodes, played by Mark Ruffalo, of the FBI, and Ahmad Dre, of the Interpol agent, played by Melanie Lauren, on the case to find out how they did it, and how they do it without getting caught. Well, eventually they did get caught, and that's when they find out that this mystery proves by the insights of a professional illusionist named Thaddeus Bradley, who's played by Morgan Freeman. But what really follows in this totally bizarre investigation is where nothing is what it seems with so many illusions, dark secrets, and hidden agendas are that all involved and reminded of the great truth in, in this puzzle. The closer you look, the less you see. Well, there's nothing I did see about this movie other than the fact that it was riddled with CGI special effects, too many cliches, a story that's going nowhere and a twist that definitely does not make any sense whatsoever. In fact, I didn't buy the characters one bit in this movie. To me, these characters in this film are considered to be as very shallow and not very likable at all. In fact, I consider them as a very moronic illusionist that obviously can't come up with something this smart and that's where the film really fails miserably and the one thing that really bothered me so much is that it almost confused me to no extreme because this plot is so absurd that I couldn't even follow anything that was going on in this movie it just turns out to be simply a magic show filled with nothing but CGI special effect that didn't even impress me one bit. There was one scene in the movie where Eli Fisher's character holds a white rabbit and get this, this white rabbit turns into a magician hat. What the hell is this? Is this magic or it's just basically CGI playing all these tricks on you for the audience? I, I just can't believe it. it. It's like they're just tricking the audience into this whole ridiculous plot. I'm trying to figure out what was going on in this mystery. There was one pointless car chase scene that involves one of the four horsemen. It was really dumb. There was even another scene where the agent has been toppled by the entire crowd. It was stupid. And the twist, oh my god, the twist, it just, 
It just makes you feel angry inside no matter what. I, I don't get it. Are they really explaining to me that that after all of this, they're thinking that the agent is just really trying to figure out what's going on or the fact that you know, he's being fooled into this ridiculous mess. It, it just doesn't make any sense at all. And Morgan Freeman, you know, a good actor he is, I feel like he was definitely wasting his time in this ridiculous movie. I, I feel like he's almost playing the character that he once played in the movie Hard Rain. And what a waste of a, opportunity that this actor really is. And even Michael Caine looks um, totally wasted too. These are two legendary actors right there. I, I haven't seen him this embarrassed since Jaws the Revenge. I'm sorry I had to put that up to it. But he has been in bad films before. Jesse Eisenberg? What happened to you? You started out fresh with other films, even Zombieland, and you teamed up with Woody Harrelson. But ever since you were in that movie, The Social Network, you've been like selecting really bad scripts a lot lately. And the sad part is, I don't think he hasn't been making a good movie since. Other than Rio, um, I didn't care about any of his later ones. Eli Fisher, you know, you deserve better than this. You were very good and definitely maybe, but ever since that awful movie you were in, called uh, The Confessions of a Shopaholic, I don't know what kind of career move that this is turning out to be. I mean, Rango's a good choice, but why did he have to pick such awful scripts? And Will, Woody Harrelson, come on. You're a great actor. You deserve better. Uh, I don't know. This and Mark Ruffalo is very good in other films too. I mean, he was very good in as the Hulk, not to mention uh, Bruce Banner in the Avengers. And Melanie Lauren, you know, she she's a new actress coming from the movie in Glorious Bastards. Why can't they make a character smart? It's just really dumb. I don't know, this movie just bored me out of my mind. It left me cold. I just didn't enjoy it that much. There were two versions of this film, extended version and frankly quite as worse as, as the theatrical version. So I didn't enjoy it, this movie quite a bit. It didn't work for me. So anyway, I give Now You See Me two stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.